Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening, miss. So good to see everybody. I missed you guys yesterday. Me too. I missed you too, teacher. What happened is. <laughs> oh, you know, it was crazy. Um I I try I, I tried to connect to Zoom and it was like con like it was connecting and connecting and connecting and it would never connect. So I would stop I I stopped it and I did it again and it did the same thing. It was like connecting, connecting, never connected. And so um I was like, okay, this is weird. Um, so I tried to, um, I tried to get in through, um, because I was doing it through the application, and um, and then I tried to do it through 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 the web, but then it said it would that I didn't have internet, and then, um, but it was weird because I was in my cell phone, it was fine. Like the I had internet and everything, I, there was no problem. So um, I restarted my computer. Nothing. It would it would say that um, it said that I didn't have internet, but I did. It was I was connected, right? Um. So, um. You know, I tried everything. I I, I tried to get in through all the different ways, and nothing. So it was like. It was, you know, almost six, six, sorry, it was almost eight thirty, and um, so they had to cancel the 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 class because I couldn't get in, and um, it was very strange because then after that, I disinstalled Zoom, I uninstalled it, and then I tried to install it again, but when I tried to go into the website of Zoom it didn't, there was no website, like it, it was not possible to get in, but I could get into all the other websites. So I think the problem was that, that Zoom probably was having a problem either in my area or I don't know what was going on, but it was, it was, I think it was Zoom because I tried it so many, many times to get in after, even after the class was, was canceled and I couldn't, I just couldn't. And then I tried like three hours later, and then I could do it. So it was weird. I don't know. I think I think um, Zoom was just having problems in my area. So it had never happened to me, but probably, maybe maybe Miss probably your Zoom was it was a update. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. but, but or... it, no, but it, it it couldn't. I was thinking it could be that, but I don't think so because um, I couldn't even get into the website. I couldn't. I it was impossible to download it. So I think it was it was the actual Zoom that was having the problem. I don't know. Like I said, maybe in my area. I don't know. But I couldn't get into the website. I could get into, I can, I could get into my emails. I could go into Google, Chrome. I could, I can navigate. But I couldn't get into Zoom, the actual um, application of Zoom. So that's what I, I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm guessing, anyways. So yeah, crazy. But the important thing is that we finally were able to to connect today. <laughs> um, this is and, important. Yes, yeah. that's what's important. And um, so we're going to have to run the class a little bit more. So I'm really sorry, but we're going to have to um, uh, finish until the 14th. No. Let me just make sure. I have correct. No, the 13th. 
Okay, so we're going to be have to we have to go until the thirteenth. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, yeah, all right, no problem. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks for understanding. Okay, so um, we are going to take attendance. A moment. Okay. All right, so here we go. Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria Galán. No, sorry guys. Yes. Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah. No, it is not here, right? Um, Asalia Melani, here for you. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Asalia. Okay. Um, Melan, Melan, sorry, uh, no. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present, present. All right. Wonderful. Um, Carlos Elias Dimas. Carlos Elias Dimas. Okay. Eh, Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Diana Jamilet Maravilla. No. Um, Evit Adilia Hernandez. Evit Adilia Hernandez, no. Uh, Emerson Adia Reyes. Uh, Ismael Ernesto Boyet. Good evening, present. Good evening. All right, wonderful. Uh, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth Lasso. Mayra Elizabeth Lasso. Hola Mayra. ¿Me escucha? Mayra, Mayra, creo que está teniendo problemas con su conexión, quizás. Ok. Eh, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Raquel. Ok. Um, Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Sandra, Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Tara um, Rachel Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present, teacher. Present. Okay. Wonderful, thank you. And Vilma Elizabeth Akian. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Going to try I'm here. Oh, hello. Hello, Diana. 
Hello, teacher. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, we're going to start. Please um, let me know if you can see my PowerPoint. You see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. Yes, Miss. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. Wonderful. So this is the. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't even change the date. I'm sorry. It was supposed to be for Tuesday, but now you guys know it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's uh, for day number 16. Uh, the date is Wednesday, June 7, 2023. Facilitated is just a good one. You guys know that um, any questions you, you ask, please ask them in English. So you can say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Can you speak more slowly? How do you spell? What's the answer for number four or for number 10 or for whatever number it is? How do you say whatever word in English? What does this word mean? Whatever, whatever word it is. And how do you pronounce this word? Okay. Uh, any questions so far about how to ask something? Okay. So remember, um, whenever you ask something, make sure that you ask in English. I, I want you to ask me always in English. Okay. All right. So here we go. First thing, we're gonna we're gonna practice some uh, vocabulary. So this is some vocabulary that we've seen. So the first word is etiquette. Remember the word etiquette. Okay, we have guidelines, polite, manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject. Do you remember these words? Or do you have questions about the, the meaning of these words? Or the pronunciation too, but I'm, I'm really interested in the meaning. Do you, do you understand the meaning or is there any questions that you want to ask? Did a word mean manner? Manners, manner like we could say the good manners, for example. If you have good manners, it means that you are polite, that um, you are well educated in in behavior. Okay, that's manners. So have good manners, for example, or have table manners. Table manners are the way you are supposed to behave at the table. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, it should. Yeah, okay. Any other words that you, you're not sure about the meaning? Like I said, I, I'm more interested in, in um, I'm more interested in, in that you know the, the meaning, but if you want to ask about pronunciation, that's fine too. Yes, teacher. I will know the meaning of late late cover. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Um uh late comer means someone that is, is that arrives late to work or to any other place that they're supposed to be on time. Um, so anybody that is arriving and especially those people that constantly are late, that's a latecomer. 
Does that make Thank sense? You. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other words that you don't you're not sure about? Okay. All right. So I'm going. Can you see every? I think. Yo creo que se mira cortado, ¿verdad? Déjeme ver. Let me just make sure. Oh, no, 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 that's the last one. That's the last one. Okay, in that case. Oh, okay, that's the last line. So in that case, I'm going to project it again. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is try to find, try to find these words, these words here in this crossword, okay? I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that. Teacher, how do you spell scrum, uh, scrum board? Um, how, do you, how do you spell what? Uh, oh, crossword. crossword. Okay, I'm actually going to, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment because it just occurred to me that um, I should share it through the WhatsApp group. Okay, so that you guys may, it, it may be easier for you to, if you can have it like on your cell phone or I don't know. So, um, so just give me a moment and I'll, I'll write the word crossword. Tussle in a moment. Just give me a moment, guys. You guys have it? You can see it, yes, right? Okay, good. So, um, and I'm sharing the, the the vocabulary too. Okay. Um. So, and the word that you're looking for, I read it in the chat. There it is. Crossword puzzle. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share it again and share.
Any questions, guys, so far? Anything you want to ask me? Okay, are we finished? Do you need more time? Yes. Mm, yes. Yes, you're finished or yes, you need more time? Which one? I um, need more time. Need more time, okay. All right, no problem. Let's do that. Okay, are you ready now? Yes. Teacher, yes. I can finish. I can find regard. You're not finished? Just one word. Okay. I finish. I finish, teacher. You're finished? Okay, who needs more time? Finish the chair. Okay. All right. Let's check. Let's start with the first one. Um, so, etiquette. Where can I find? Remember, remember, remember how to tell tell me about the about where to find it, right? So, um, before anything, let's make sure that you guys remember how to to tell me where it is. What do you call this going down? Who remembers? Column. Columns. Very good. These are columns. And what are these? Mm -hmm. 
Rose. 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 Very good. Okay. Okay. So let's start with etiquette. Where can I find etiquette? I, I prefer I prefer you to tell me. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Ninth column, did you say? So is that correct? Two. Mm. Okay. So, so I, I think I think, I think it's the tenth. I think it's the yes, it's tenth. Tenth, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, just a second. Sorry, right here. Okay. All right, good. Guidelines. Where can I find guidelines? <laughs> the, the last column, miss. The last column? Okay. Oh, the last column. Guideline. Guidelines. Good. Okay, so right here. Yes. Good. Excellent. Where can I find polite? Last row. The last row. Um, the eleventh column. Perfect. Last row, eleventh column. Good. Thank you. Um, manners. Where can I find manners? <laughs> Where can I find manners? Six column. Mm -hmm. So this is the sixth column right here. Five row. Fifth row. Very good. Good. Uh, regards. Where can I find regards? No, and, and I want you guys to to explain to me, um, so that it'll be, so that you practice telling like saying columns and and rows. So regards. Mm -hmm. Column. Three what? columns. Third, third column. Mm -hmm. Five rows. Fifth row. Third column, fifth row. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Punctual. Notice it's punk, punctual, not punctual. It's punk, punctual. Okay, so punctual. Where can I find punctual? Tell me, you know, which which row, which column? Uh two columns. Miss uh two columns and second column. And second column and, <coughs> and um, forty. Last, 40 the last the last uh the last mm. Oh, uh, mm. this. What is row? What? Row. 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 The last row. Yes. row. Okay. Very good. The last Thank row. You. Yes. Second Thank column, you. The last row. Second column. Last row is here. Excellent. Okay. Late comer. Where can I find late comer? Nine columns. Ninth column. Ninth column. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Eight, eighty rows. Eight rows. Eighth row. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Two up. Ninth row. Late. 
coma. Yes, ninth row. Okay, good. Excellent. Coma. All right, next is behavior. Where can I have find behavior? Seventh column. Seventh column? Yes. Okay. Seventh column? Seventh column. Oh, row. And? Oh, row. Second row. Yes. Row. Good. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Oh. Salutation. Where can I find salutation? Eleven column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh huh. The next, the next to last row. Good. Right? The second to last row. Second. Second, second to, to last. last. Very good. Excellent. And subject. Subject. Um, the theorist. The theorist. A column. Uh -huh. First column and the theorist. So row. Row. Good. First column. First row. Excellent. There you go. Bravo, guys. Any questions? No? No questions? No, teacher. No, miss. Okay, all right. Very good. All right, in that case, let's move on to the next part. This is a unit three review. With could you mind and would you mind? Sorry, no. So would you mind and could you? I said. So what we're gonna do is says identify and correct three mistakes in the request below, and select some the most appropriate answer for the request. Be um, because this is a review, I'm gonna let you do this by yourself. Okay, we're not gonna put you with partners. Um, we're going to be testing how much you remember about using do you mind and could you, okay? Also, the second part says select the most appropriate answer for the request below. So you can choose between A and B, okay? So I'll give you about five minutes to do that.
Okay, are we ready or do we need more time? I'm ready, yeah, I'm ready, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. You ready? Me too. Okay, perfect. Let's check. Um, identify and correct three mistakes in the request below. So it, we'll go one by one and you tell me if um, if there's any problems or if it's okay, if it's correct. Okay, so would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Is that okay, or do or there is there any problem? I think there are a, there are, there is a problem. Okay, what's the problem? Would you would you mind move your car? Moving is not correct. It's move. Okay. Do you agree? I think uh, I, it's correct. I think it's correct. Yes, I think it's correct too. It's you correct. think you think what is correct? What he just said, or or you said, or the the sentence is correct. For me, the sentence, sentence is correct. Is correct. So, yeah, the sentence is correct. It's fine this way. Okay. You could fill this purchase order. Is it okay? Incorrect. Or... incorrect. That's wrong. Okay. Incorrect. Yeah, it's incorrect. Okay. What's the, what's what's incorrect about it? Uh, oh, you. The, the order of the oh, words. You. Good. Okay. So. Yeah, the order. Right. The order. So we sh it should say. Which should could be the answer? You. Could you? Okay. Could so it should you? say, could you? Okay, so instead of saying, um, you could, it's could you? Good. All right, next number three, would you send when you send in this invitation to your system? Is that okay? I think incorrect. No, I think it's wrong. Right. Okay, what's wrong? Would you mind? Good. So I should say, would you mind? There's a mind missing there. Okay, next. Number four, would you mind ordering something to eat? Is this okay or are there any problems? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay? It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, good. Would you come in earlier tomorrow? We need to receive our visitors. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's Correct. wrong. You think it's wrong? Yes. Yeah. What do you think it's could wrong. be the answer then? Uh, could you come earlier tomorrow? Could you come, yes. Uh, you the verb has to be in the base, base form. Right, very good. The verb should be in the base form. So it should say, could you come? Or could you come in? All right. You got it, guys? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Would you mind turning the lights on? What would be the the correct answer or reply to that request? Uh, letter, uh, letter 
A. A. No problem. Letter A. No problem. Everybody agrees? Yes, I'm agree with guys. Okay, very good. No problem. No problem. Could you order something to eat, please? What would be the best answer? I think it's B. Letter, Letter A B. is about. <clears throat> so what do you guys, what does the rest think? A or B? The right is B. Letter? Letter B. Remember that with these kind of requests, uh, we do not answer with the same auxiliary. Instead, we give a short answer, uh, a, a short, sweet answer that shows that you are ready to do what they ask you to do. Okay. Could you request more jumbo, jumbo paper clips, please? What's the best answer? Letter A. Everybody says letter A? Letter A. Everybody agrees, letter A? Yeah, letter A. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's letter A. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? What would be the answer? Best answer. I think it's letter B. Letter? In a in a minute. Letter, letter B, B in a minute? In a minute. Do you agree? Class? Yes, Miss. Yes, everybody agrees. Yes, no, maybe. Let it be. Okay. In a minute, yes. All right, and excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Would be the best answer? Mm -hmm. What would be the best answer? Letter B. Letter B. B. Not a problem. Good. Okay. Do you have any questions about these um, asking for requests? We using would you mind and could you? What is what is the form to answer that I could not? I'm sorry. Um, sometimes. Okay, using the same auxiliary like would and could would not be appropriate. Instead, you want to use a short answer that shows that you are willing to do what they ask, the the requests that they ask. So in this case. Um, for example, yes, I would. Would is the same auxiliary, so that wouldn't make sense. The same here thing here. Yes, I could. Could. Wouldn't. Would. So do you notice the wrong answers use the auxiliary, the same auxiliary? That's not appropriate. Yes, I would. And no, I wouldn't. I would. No, yeah, so or... any so anytime that you no, use the exact same auxiliary, would or could, that is an incorrect answer. Okay. Unless, unless you would say, for example, would you mind helping me? Or no, maybe that'd be really rude. Would you mind, um, would you mind if I smoke? And then you answer, yes, I would mind. 
then that would probably be okay, right? Be, because in that case, you are you are saying that it's not okay to do that request. But normally, normally request um, request would add would be followed by something like, yeah, sure, no problem, right away. Um, yeah, I'll get on that, showing the person that you're willing to do what they asked you to do. Okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, miss. Yeah? Yes, miss. Okay. Great. Okay, so let's move on then. Okay. So we're still on review. Now we're going to talk about good etiquette. So it says, write a suggestion about the following behaviors. So we have different, um, different uh, sorry, situations. So for example, the first one is, Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. Um, he shouts at me from his desk. He manages to sign up, um, take many selfies when they are working. Pablo posts a sign, not good a time, not a good time in his door office. Sorry, his office door. So his team does not talk to him. Graciela always signs her emails with the em emoji. So these are some behaviors. And what I want you to do is you're going to be discussing in a small group what would be a good suggestion for each situation. And then I want you also to classify the salutations and closings to decide if it's formal or informal. Does that make sense? Do we understand what we're going to do? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Miss. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So I'm gonna I'll send you guys a, in the WhatsApp the entire um slide so that you um so that you're able to work with uh with your group and do the exercises. Okay, so please tell me if you can see the, the slide that I just sent you. Lance, can you see it? Yes, yes, miss. Yes, yes. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, before I create the groups, I need to make sure that you guys are there. So, um, Edith, Lilia, I think she was not going to participate, if I'm not mistaken. Elisa, are you there? I think not, yeah. Okay. Um Sandra Ivet. What is saying? Oh, oh, okay. Evit. Are, are were you gonna participate? I, I forgot. Yes. You are, okay, perfect. Okay. And Sandra? Andrivet? Okay. Um Let's 
second. Yeah, I had one who's given a script and I'm trying to figure out who are the ones that are not going to be able to participate. Um, okay. Um, Marlon? Marlon Daniel? Okay, um, <clears throat> just a second, guys. Okay, so Ismael, how about you? Okay, you're there in Carlos. Here, Carlos. I'm here. Wonderful. And Carlos Eliezer? Okay, perfect. Okay, let me just figure this one out then. Okay, hold on a minute. Trying to figure out so that I can put, I'll probably put all the people that are not going to be able to participate in one group. It's probably the best thing I can do. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I think I think everybody should be in a group now with people that are going to participate. Okay, so I'm opening the the rooms right now. Sara, uh, I think, I don't know, uh, Sara should keep your cell phone when... Your cell phone or her cell phone? Uh, oh, sorry, her cell phone is... Mm -hmm. okay. Her cell phone during, during the lunch. Okay, In yes, I'm going to wait. I am to that. Yes. And, uh, and the second? Help me to the second. Uh, yes. Sorry, sorry, Miss. Uh, sorry, sorry, Denise. Uh, miss. Yes. Uh, how do you say guardar in English? It's correct. Keep. Keep. Um, it depends. What's the context? Ah, okay. It, 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 okay, it, 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 in this in this case, is 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 correct. Okay, but uh, well, sorry, what's the context? Keep, keep keep the cell phone during the during during the lunch. Is correct or, or ah guardar el celular? Exactly. exactly. Oh, okay, okay. No, in that case, it would be put away. Put away. Put, put away. away. Yes. Put away. Put away. Be put away. Put away. Yeah. It's, I'll, it's, it's I'll write it in the chat. Water. Put okay. away. Put yeah. Away. In yeah. that case, yes. So, de away. guardar de de. Bueno, uno se guardar, pero de guardar de que 
que lo va a poner en un lugar seguro uh -huh. um, uh -huh. eh, hasta un tiempo prudente. Yeah, that's put away. Yes, put away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. But Thank if you say you. guardar, for example, eh, te lo voy a guardar en un lugar seguro, right? O sea, you give it to someone and you say, te lo voy a guardar, that would be okay. keep. That's keep. I'm going to so put away the, the, I'm going to put away your, your cash in, in, in your locker, or in, in my locker, if it's simple. No. I will keep. Ah, uh, this is a long guardaré. time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because in that case, it's, it's, it's not that it's wrong to have it out. It's just that simply it's um for safekeeping. Okay. okay. Yes, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Okay, with the number two, my boss does, does not like to walk to my desk when it's something. He shouts at me from his desk. So I think the suggestion can, could be uh, his boss could try to oh I, I don't know I don't know I think I think I think about boss that. doesn't want to uh, I, I if his I... boss don't want don't doesn't want to to walk to his desk I think he should call him by phone. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Hello. Oh my, my god, phone. don't like what to my desk. I don't understand. I don't understand that sentence. My boss doesn't like not a listen. He doesn't like uh, to walk to uh -huh. his desk. When, when, when he needs, he needs something. something. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. The suggestion for me, um, his boss should, his, should, should no, walk uh, to his desk and say what he needs, what he needs. Uh, his boss should. Should to walk, should mm -hmm. walking to my desk. To walk to from... his, uh, to his desk. Yes or no? Yes. Um, my uh, his boss should his walking boss to my uh, yeah to my desk. His boss should from your walk office. Walk. Yeah. I think it's called. Who he said. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's correct. His boss should walk to his desk. From. And say. Mm. And say what he mm. needs. In the gym. When? When he needs something. When he needs something. Ah, yeah. when, yes. When, when he, he needs yes. something. Uh-huh. When. Okay. When he needs something. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he needs something. When he needs something. And the number three. three. Mena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. <laughs> They make they make TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Jimena and Susan take myself take many selfies when they are working. 
I think is the same suggestion for like like number like number one. Is mm, yes, it is it's equal, but and Susan Jimena and Susan take my selfies when they are working. Okay. Okay, uh, we should use Jimena and Susan. They, they. Oh, or they, or they, yes. They. No, or they, okay. They should. Um, I think this is a, a unrespect, right? Because she's working, not taking photos. Yeah, you're right. Um, we can use they should not take any selfies when they are working? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Should not. They should not. They shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Or shouldn't. Taking they... photos at working. They shouldn't taking photos of working. Right? Yeah. Pablo post the scene not a good time in this office door. So his team doesn't not talk to him. I don't not post the scene. Pablo puts the sink in not a good time <coughs> in his office door, so his team does not talk. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, Pablo is is está teniendo un mal día. So he en la puerta de la oficina o como es dos no quiere que nadie le hable entonces no es un buen no es un buen momento quiere que el equipo le hable que su equipo le hable a él uh, no Dice... uh, because he he put not a good time in the door or his office in the door Mm -hmm. His team does not talk to him. No quiere hablar con con el equipo. Sí. Uh, the team oh. does not talk with him because he has the uh, the post in the, in the office the time? Oh. I'm sorry, miss. Do you need more time? Or are you finished? Uh, more time, please. More time. More time. Okay, no problem. A few minutes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, uh -huh. we will use Are you finished or do you need more time? Uh we need more time, teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you, Miss. My boss called AC. My jefe podría tomar solo con calma y así y evitar gritar. Evitar alterarse. Mm -hmm. My boss called take it easy and avoid getting upset.
Number three. Um, I, I think so. Jimena and Susan could save their, their phone. And, Jimena and uh, Susan. Mena y Susan deberían dedicarse más al trabajo en horas laborales. Um, podr uh, podría ser Jimena y Jimena Susan could save the phone while uh, they work. Que en español sería, no sé, Jimena y Susan deberían guardar su teléfono. Uh, mientras ellos trabajan. Podrían guardar el teléfono. O deberían. No, deberían porque... Deberían. Ajá, ajá sería... Deberían guardar. En horas laborales. Yo puse why they work. Sería, yo creo que sería mientras ellos trabajan. Uh, a mí me preguntó. A mí me preguntó. Sí. Ah, puse Jimena y Susan would save their phone while uh, they work. Se lo voy a escribir porque no me va a entender. Jimena y Susan. Okay, are you guys ready now, or does, um, do you still need more time? Uh, more time is only okay. two minutes. Two more minutes. All right, perfect. I'll go and visit the other groups and see if they need more time. Okay, thank you, Miss. We'll say see you later. It's a. Uh, it's, uh, in, in my in my mind in my sink uh, uh, informal or formal it's formal see you later formal. see you yeah see you or see you tomorrow can be a formal mm. way to formal yeah okay hey hey yes is informal right see hey hey is it's informal hey um all right What's see up? you but seeing uh with abbreviations, it can be informal. See you. See you, but contracted. What? Catch you later is informal. Uh, see you what later can be formal. Formal, maybe. Uh, I, I think. think I think. You see, like informal algorithm. But I don't see you, see you later. Formal. Uh, we can use see, other. See other... You. For okay. me, it's formal. What? See For you. Me it's formal. See you. Ah, okay. Formal. Yeah, formal. Hey. Uh, is... 
Hey is informal. Hey is informal. informal. It's informal. Or uh, what's up? Informal. What's up? Informal. informal. So, hey, you mean hello, miss, is miss. Let's go on. Formal. Formal. What? Ah, hello, miss. On? Hello, Mister. Hello, Miss. He miss. This is formal. This formal, is formal. Right? It may be yeah. dear friend. For me, it's formal. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Jill. I don't know, Jill. What do you think about about the first? I think that too. For me, is informal. Yes, I, I I don't know. You, Mayra. What do you think? It's informal. Okay, I think it's informal. Okay. I think I need to. Mm, think more, but I don't know. I don't know. Mm, okay. Informal. <laughs> informal. Informal. I think. Yeah. It's I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure. Too, I'm going to. But... I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to, really I'm going to have a dude. I'm going to have. A, I will go. In, I will go to uh to have a do from about this. Yeah. Uh, okay, informal. Okay. You you don't you don't agree. You don't agree, but then <laughs> I'm going to say formal, but I'm 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 not sure if it's formal or informal. <laughs> but I'm going oh, to to Caesar and yes, we are a papel <laughs> <laughs> in English, I, I paint. Ini mini mini mo, wow, algo así. Ini mini mini mo. The thing, Marin, de dos. Ah, there it is. No, no. <laughs> okay. Are you finished, guys? Or we say, no? we say yes. informal. Yes. Informal. <laughs> informal. Yes. Yes, Miss. I, I have <laughs> that. I have, I, I, I have a problem, but. Uh -huh. I think a solution. Uh, I find the solution. <laughs> we find solution. We oh, find okay. solution. Great. Okay. Are you guys uh, ready? But, uh, we finish. Yeah, you finished. We finish. Yeah. Uh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. We're gonna return to the main room then. Okay, okay Miss. Okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah. they're, in they're a moment that they're friends <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, I know that um, you, many of you were having debates <laughs> in your groups, uh, which is fine, which is good. I, I like that because it, debates are good because um, it gets you talking, right? It, it gets to expressing your your reasons and that's good. So no worries if you if you have debates in your groups, that's perfect. Okay, it's the debate all you want. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to um, check the answers. Please, please tell me if you can see my my PowerPoint. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, miss. Okay. So I'm not going to write it down, but I want, I'm going to ask you. So what suggestion would you give Sarah? Um, or what would you, what suggestion would you give in general? If Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when, when you have lunch, what would be your suggestion? 
by the way, sorry, I forgot to, to mention something. Uh, something very important is that we need to know how to, or how we need to remember, better said, we already know, but we need to remember how we make suggestions. What, what two words do we use to make suggestions? Uh, it's oh. like sugerencia. Yeah, right. But how do we make suggestions? Because this is a review. So how did we learn how to make suggestions? We use show. Good. We use should or? Or, or, um, or shouldn't. Or shouldn't, exactly. Or sh yeah, which is short for should not. So those are the two words I want to hear. Okay, when you give me your suggestions, I want to hear should or shouldn't. Okay, so never Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What's her suggestion? Um, maybe Sarah should put away your cell phone during the during the lunch. Okay, so Sarah should put away my cell phone. Uh, no, her, her cell phone. Her cell phone. Her cell phone. Cell phone. Good. Her okay. Cell phone. During, Very good. During the lunch. Good, because you know I don't want her touching okay. my cell phone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm mean, sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just joking. Okay. Um, all right, good. So Sarah should should put away her cell phone to her lunch. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other suggestions? That's really that's the only suggestion that's everybody thought of the same suggestion. Okay, all right. We, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we, we wrote, mm -hmm. but uh, Sarah should be more polite at lunch. I'm not chatting on the phone, maybe. She's okay, saying. good. So Sarah should be okay. more polite. Um, more polite at lunch. At and lunch. and what else? Uh -huh. And what not else? Chatting, not chatting. Not not chatting on the phone. And not on chat. his phone. And not chat on the phone. Because we oh, have okay. to use this the base form. And not chat on the phone. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Okay. Oh, yes. Miss, how is the pro, uh, pronunciation? Or is sharing? Sharing or sharing? Sharing. Sharing or sharing? Chatting. Sharing. 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 Okay. Sharing. Shut yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Mm hmm. Sarah for mind stopping sharing on lunch break. Okay, can you repeat that, Sarah? Sarah would mind. Would mind. Yes um, or no? We have to use should and shouldn't. That should be the correct form. Should and shouldn't. Okay. Can you so can you say that the same idea using should or shouldn't? Sarah? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, Sarah? Please continue. Sarah? Mm -hmm. Show? Yes. Yes, Cecilia? Stopping, stopping chatting. On lunch break. Okay, good. Except that when we use should or shouldn't, the verb needs to be in the base form, not the ing form. So Sarah should stop, stop, stop. chatting, or Sarah should not chat. Okay. Okay. 
All right, but we need to use the base form. So we have to say that Sarah should stop, not stopping, eh, chatting, on, chat, chatting on the phone, or um, Sarah shouldn't chat on the phone. Does that make sense, Cecilia? Yes, teacher. Thank Perfect. You. You're welcome. Okay, let's go on to the next one. My boss never does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Um, his boss should walk to his desk uh, when he needs something. Good. Okay. His boss should walk to his desk when he needs something. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything else? Teacher, we wrote in our answers. Um, he should, he should not shout, shout, sh shout him from his desk. He should not shout from his desk. Very good. He should not shout from his desk. Okay, good. Next, number three, Jimena and Susana take many self selfies when they are working. Mm -hmm. So this is number three. He mm -hmm. men and Susan to work and not take selfie. Okay, he men and Susana should should what work should work. And okay, should work and not take selfie. Beautiful. Okay, so should work and not take not selfies. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Anything else? Jimena and Susan should store their phones during working hours. Okay, can you can you repeat that again? Do you mind repeating that, Sonia? Jimena and Susan. And e Susan or and Susan? And Susan. Mm -hmm. And Susan Good. should store. Mm -hmm. They are phones during working hours. Sh okay, so Jimena and, Sus and Susan should or shouldn't? shouldn't? They just shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't what? Start their phones. Start their phones. Start their phones? Empezar sus, sus during sus working days. hours. Start, start is empezar o comenzar. Uh, I think oh. she, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think uh, it's a uh, encender. Do you refer oh. to the encender or? Start there. So, I think she, said, she says store. Store. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Eh, ajá, está diciendo que deberían de guardarlo. Yes, Azalia? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, the best verb to use for that, in that situation is put away. You could say store, but store is too formal because store is more um it's come on it's like an like in a warehouse you store it's like to keep in a in a place for a long time a uh, so it's like um like to put it for him like a storage imagine que yo me voy de viaje y quiero guardar eh, mis 
mis cosas como mi cama, mi, mi sofá, mi televisor y todo eso, then I, I, I rent a storage and I store the, the, my belongings in that place. So storage is like more for like a long period of time. So the best verb to use in that one is put away. Put away is more like yes. guardar como por temporalmente. Oh, how do yeah. you spell store? How do store. You spell store? It, like, like, like a store, to store. That's where storage comes from. A storage. A storage is like una bodega. Okay. Does, does that make sense, Cecilia? Does it make sense? Yeah? Yes, Tisha. Okay, okay. So so your verb is, is correct. Store means guardar. You're right. But it means to, to put away for a long period of time. Uh, like maybe... Um, you know, weeks or months or even years. So we don't want to put, we don't want to store your cell phone because you're not going to be able to use it for a long, 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 long time, right? So instead, just put away means, you know, um, not use it temporarily. Okay. Okay, very good. Any? Yes. Sorry. The meaning of store in Spanish could be like, Almacenar. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Almacenar o... Puede ser, es que puede ser también guardar. Por ejemplo, um, almacenar en el sentido de, por ejemplo, um, voy a almacenar esta, este arroz um, para cuando... I um más uh, estemos en tiempo de necesidad, for example, right? Yeah, that's okay. But I'm but then store, that's, I'm going to store the I'm going to store this rice. Yeah, to store the rice. Uh, yeah, exactly. But um, but it can also mean uh not just like it can also be like uh to store your furniture, like. So, eh, so for example, Denise, you, um, you are going to, you're going to go and study in another country, and so um, you are renting right now an apartment, and you want to come back and to El Salvador, but. Um, but you cannot keep your apartment. So you ask a friend, can you store my 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 belongings, like my bed and uh, my clothes in a room? So, and so she says, yeah, no problem. And you take your clothes and you're in your bed and everything, and you put it in a place in her house um, for, for a short, for a time, like maybe weeks or months or, you know, and then you're going to come back. So in that case, it's not really almacenar, porque no se almacena esa, eh, es, esas cosas, ¿verdad? So, no, que en ese caso sería guardar. So it depends on the context. Okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, let's move on to number four. Pablo posts a sign not a good time in his office door. So his uh, his team does not talk to him. What's the problem? Uh, or better said, what suggestions can you give? Maybe it can be uh, Pablo shouldn't take the attitude. Okay, Pablo shouldn't have that attitude. Mm -hmm. Have, have yeah. a, but that, that attitude. Yeah. Very good. Probably shouldn't have that attitude. Sure. Anything else?
Anything? Pablo should should take take it away. Mm. The post posts. The sign. Pablo should take away yes, the sign. Yeah. Sign. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Pablo should take away the sign. Mm -hmm. Good. Another idea. Um, Pablo should be more friendly with his team. Good. Pablo should be more friendly with his team. Excellent. Anything else? Okay. All right, last one. Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji. And that's the emoji, like a winky face. Um, okay. Graciela should be used formal readings in her emails. Okay, so Graciela should? Should use? Good, should use. So formal just one email? verb, should formal use. Formal readings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should use, excellent. Good, another one? Anything else? Really, that's it. Graciela should find her emails without any emoji. Good. Graciela should sign her emails without any emoji. Okay. All right. Let's go now to the formal and informal citations of closing. See you. Formal or informal? See you. Uh, is, See for you. me, it's formal. <laughs> for me, it's formal. For you, it's formal? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure. Formal. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for me, if we, if we for use me, see you later. So, see well, you yeah, is the yeah. right? Yeah, I completely agree with you, Ismael. I it think that, yeah, yes, I see. see you. Yeah. See you later. See you later, friends. See you later, mom. See you later, brother. Right. Uh, anyways. So it's, then it's... See you tomorrow. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Carlos, can you repeat that? Uh, no, no, it's for... Okay, it's hold on. Sure wait, but wait, 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 wait. Well, listen to what you said. See you later, mom. See you later, friends. Oh, uh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Oh, but um. So. I don't know. I don't know, Miss. <laughs> okay. Are you formal? <laughs> Question, Carlos. Are you formal with your family and friends? Uh, yes. Yes. You're formal. Yes, I am. ¿Usted habla uh, formalmente con sus amigos uh, y familiares? It depends. Depend Muy buenos is... días a todos. <laughs> Les saluda. Do you do, do, you do uh, that with your friends and family? No, really, no. No, no, really, no. right? No, with uh, your friends no. and family, you are? <laughs> informal. With my... Informal. Yeah, you were informal. It's so informal. see you. It's informal. Is informal. Yeah, see okay. you is informal. Okay. Okay. okay, Miss. Okay, because you you won, you won, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won, you won because you said it. You said it first, you, with your family and your friends. You said, "See you later, Mom. See you later, friends." And you're right. You're absolutely right because with your family and friends, you are relaxed. You don't have to be formal. Okay. Okay. Hey. 
informal. Yes. Informal. Please, please, please never write hey in a in in a business email. Please, please. That's horrible. That's worse than see you. Okay. What's up? Informal. Oh yes, that's another one. Please never write. Yes. Never write what's up in a form in a in a business email. So it literally lit, WhatsApp is literally translated like in in, in so, Buen Salvadoreño, cubo. So please never do that. Hello, Mr. or hello, Ms. Formal. 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 Yes, okay, good. That's one. Mm-hmm. Good. All right. Um, dear friend. Formal. Formal. Okay, that's how you address formally a friend. And um, it's not very common to use this one, but you can. If you have a friend that um, you... You, you you know you're they're your friend but maybe um you haven't seen them for a long time you don't have a very close relationship with them or maybe they're like much older than you like maybe you, you know you're 30 and they are like 50 or 60 you would probably say dear friend because you you they are your friend but you want to show a lot of respect so yes you could say dear friend my best formal yeah my best is formal morning I think it's in, informal. Yes, yes informal. you're right. It's informal. What would be the formal of morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Exactly. So morning is is like short form, so it's informal. Best regards. Formal. Yeah. Formal. Best regards is formal. Thanks. Using T H N X. Informal. Yes, exactly. Please never do something like that in a formal email because that is abbreviations. Don't use abbreviations in formal emails. So yeah. And finally, X O X O. It's informal. Yes, very informal. Can someone tell me what XOXO means, really? What does that stand for? <clears throat> What's XOXO? Like kisses and hugs, I think. Yeah, hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses and kisses, exactly. Okay, so the X's are hugs, the O's are kisses, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, <clears throat> so that's what it means. It's very, very informal. Um, something you would say to a very close friend or to your boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife. Okay, all right. So that's it. <clears throat> you passed the test all right so that concludes our unit three officially okay so let's move on now to this introduction do you usually go on business trips what are three hotel services for example wake up call business center, laundry, et cetera, that you often use, okay? We're talking about the hotel, right? Hotel services. Do we understand these questions? Do we understand the questions? 
Yes, the third question. This one? Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'm gonna put you back into your breakout room. I'm gonna send you the these questions for you to discuss with your group. And I'm gonna give you a few minutes to talk about it. Okay. Okay, so there right now I just sent you the questions and I'm putting you back into the same group for you to discuss, but I'm giving you less time. I'm only gonna give you about five minutes, okay? So here we go. Actually, four minutes because it shouldn't take you too long to discuss. In business search, um, I don't. Not for uh, days, for hours, maybe yes. Um, hours for a few hours. In business trip. Nights yeah. or days? Not. No, no. It's very. But common. you, you, you won't be. You don't use a hotel. No, 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 it's very ra rare. No sé cómo se dice. Yeah. Es muy raro, es muy raro que, que sí. tenga okay. viajes así largos. I, What I about don't... you, Sarah? Sarah Rochelle. She's talking with. You're going to need uh, to open sure. your microphone, Sarah. Microphone. My microphone. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> I have a uh, trouble the gourd uh, to have uh, my house. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do you do you, you do, do you go trip. business trip? Business trip. Yeah. Yes. Do you Yes, really. What is what is business trip? Oh, viaje de negocios. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I haven't. Never, man. Uh, never. 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 Oh. Yeah, I, I don't. An elite, I don't know. If, is he no, you edit. Hola, hi. Hi. Es que se traba el. el... <laughs> no, I don't. Video. Never, never. Yeah, we're poor. Did you go on no, business but trip? Business trips are not paid by you. Business trips are paid by your business, by your company. So you don't yeah, have yeah. to be <laughs> rich to go on a business trip. Our company yeah, yeah. Is, it, is poor. That's right. Yeah, our trips from the company. Yeah, we don't. But if I am to use that ID and see that indication, because I go out in this moment. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. The bit my. No, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. In conclusion, uh, I I haven't go I have I haven't 
going to check in my work mm -hmm. because I am new employee. Okay. Maybe the, the yet maybe the future. Prob probably. Yes, <laughs> probably. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the second question, what are three hotel services? For example, wake up call, business center, laundry. Uh, what are three hotel services you often use? Okay. Well, I don't go on business trips, but I I I know some hotel services like um I don't know if the, if the kitchen is a service. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You mean the room uh, service? Cleaning. Sorry, please. Denise, do you mean like room service? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when somebody asks for food. Yeah, that's room service. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. So oh. room services and um, what else? What else? What else? Maybe gym. A gym. Or case no. In my case, not not go on business trip. And you? Hello. Hi there. Okay. Hello. Estaba Sara. Well, estaba Sara. No, es en la sala principal. Ahorita me acabo de meter para, para traer a todos de vuelta. Oh, okay. es, que, es que tengo problemas con el internet. Me saca y me mete. Y ella me dijo lo mismo. Entonces yo le ah, pues quizás no mando a otra sala, le digo. Eh. No. Ok. Yo dije que quizás está en dos dispositivos, dije yo. No, okay. es en el teléfono. No problem. I'm, I'm bringing everybody back. Ok. Okay, teacher, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm just, I was like curious. I'm like, ¿con quién habla? She's crazy. She's crazy. No, 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 sinceramente pensé que estaba en dos dispositivos y que en el otro estaba hablando con, estaba en el otro grupo. No, teacher. Y eso, por eso le decía, yo estaba en otro y ahorita que ingresé, aparezco en otro con usted, le digo yo. Ah, no. Okay. okay, so I'm I'm bringing everybody back. Okay. Okay, guys. So, do you you do you usually go on business trips? Who who goes on business trips? Let's do it. I think it's easier if we do it that way. Do you usually go on business trips? Who does that? Anybody? Um, in my case, uh, in my case means. Uh... Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't gone uh, on trips in my okay. company because I, I still a new employee. Okay, all right. Anybody usually goes on business trips? May, maybe, maybe uh, in the future. In the future, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure. this moment, not yet. Okay, no problem. All right. So you don't usually go on business trips, but I'm sure that you have traveled at some moment and have stayed at a hotel. So what are three service hotel services that you usually or that you often use? Like anything, 
wake up calls, business center, laundry, gyms, spas, anything, room service, whatever. What are three hotel services that you normally use? Room service. Room service. Uh, laundry. Laundry. Uh, pool. Pool? That's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> okay. That's it, teacher. Yeah. Any, anything else? Transportation. Transportation. Good. Anything else? We we enter. Hmm. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Okay. Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Food service. Food service. Okay. Food service. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Next question. So, sorry. Next part here. We have a conversation, but before we start with the conversation. <clears throat> Let's um talk about this vocabulary. So we have two words here, accommodation and amenities. Accommodation is a place, such as a room or in a hotel, where travelers can sleep and find other services. That's an accommodation. It, it's very similar to Spanish, so it should be, not be that difficult, right? Amenities are the features of a hotel that are available for guests to use. Example, a gym, a pool, a mini bar, a jacuzzi, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the amenities. So do not confuse those two things. Accommodation is a place to stay. The amenities are like the services, let's say, um, that that um, a, like a hotel offers. Okay. All right, so I'm going to need two volunteers. I need somebody to be the agent and another person to be Rosa. Who can be the agent? Just reading. I this is only that. reading. Huh? Okay, Ana Victoria, wonderful. You can be the agent. Rosa, who wants to be Rosa? And it doesn't have to be a woman. You're just reading. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss. Okay, perfect. Me. Go for it, Jorge. Okay, so <coughs> let's start Ana Victoria and Jorge. Okay. Marks. Travel agency? Agency. How can, mm -hmm. Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. 14th. 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the sugar service? Yes, please. Good. Thank you. Round of applause. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. So just keep in mind um, some words. Uh, this is um, so... Um, so when we we got we gotta we gotta make sure that we pronounce the th at the end. So it's fourteenth. So I know it's a little tricky, but yeah, we gotta make sure we pronounce it. Also, make sure that you pronounce this correctly. This is miz like a z at the end, miz. Okay, and uh, this is shuttle, shuttle. Shuttle. Yeah. Shuttle. 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 Shuttle service. What is, mm -hmm. what is shuttle? Okay. Shuttle Good question. What is shuttle? Shuttle service. Can someone tell me what a shuttle service is? Transport. Yeah. It's transportation, specifically uh, transportation from a certain um, place. 
Like, for example, there's airport shuttle. So it's airport shuttle is when you, when the, um, when you arrange to go, like, for example, the airport um, gives you transportation to go to another airport. Okay. So that's the transport, that's sh transportation shuttle, right? So um, any, any specific transportation that goes to a specific place, that's a shuttle. Usually shuttles are like, um, they are used like with minibuses. Okay, so that's usually how they transport minibuses. Okay, or there's hotel shuttles. So they they are, there are transportation that takes us to a specific place. Like maybe from from the ho from the airport to the hotel, or from or the opposite from the hotel to the airport. Okay, any other words that you don't recognize that you don't know the meaning? Okay, so from this conversation, let's see if you can answer these questions. Rosa needs a double room. Is this true or false? False. 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 Right. False. Yes, very good. It's false because she, actually she needs a, a single, single room. room, right? Single room means uh, just one bed, right? Not the, and, and one bed that's for one person. <clears throat> or well maybe two but but that's just one bed okay uh, rosa is going to stay for three days is this true or false true. it is true yes very good right because um it says here i'm going to stay for three days that is true rosa is going to stay in a smoking room yes false. very good this is false because Rosa is going to, she asks for a non-smoking room. Non -smoking. And Rosa is going to rent a car at the airport. False. This is? It's false. false. It's false. Why? Service. Yeah, because she asks, she asks for the shuttle, sh sorry, the shuttle service. Shuttle service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions? Teacher in the children's service, mm -hmm. <clears throat> maybe is in when the uh, the airport are oh, is big. Mm -hmm. They have um transportation. No, no, no. Shuttle service is if. From the airport to another place, not oh, okay. inside of the airport. No, that's not shuttle service. Um, that's just airport um, transport. Um, you can have like a like a a metro inside of a uh -huh. airport. Metro or um, or carts. Yeah, they can have like carts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but that's it. The not shuttle is to go outside, outside of the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, guys, we're gonna stop there. Um, by the way, um, veo que no todos han completado la unidad tres y el midterm. Eh, por favor, necesito que lo completen. Les voy a dar hasta hoy para poder completarlo, por favor. Ok, eh, porque ya empezamos la unidad 4 y acuérdense que son, nos queda unos cuantos días. El martes terminamos. Ok, any questions? No, me. Ok, no, miss. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uy, <laughs> se me olvida. Uy, mm -hmm. por poco. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. We'll do it. We'll do it very quickly. Ana Victoria. 
present teacher. Y cuando uh -huh. pasó la lista al inicio, eh, yo entré un poquito tarde. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, no problem. Carlos Alberto. Uh, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Carlos, ah, uh, oh, no, sorry, Azalia, se me escapaba Azalia. Oh, okay. <laughs> Azalia Melanie. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Carlos Elisa Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Tenis Alejandra. Present. Eh, Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Eh, Edith Adilia. Present. Eh, Emerson Adiel. <clears throat> Not here. Um, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Here. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Daniel. Present. <clears throat> eh, Mayra Elizabeth. I'm here teacher. Raquel Elizabeth La Rosa. Present. Eh, San Sandra Ivet. Sandra Ivet. Uh, Sara Rachel. Present teacher. Sergio Chamorro. Present teacher. En Vilma Elizabeth. Vilma Elizabeth. Okay. Present Is, teacher. Yeah, perfect. Great. Um, so today um, it would be Sara's turn. So if Sara, you can stay um, if you have any questions um, and uh, we can discuss it. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. I have a sleep, teacher. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, see you. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you. 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 Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> Bye, <All right>. <laughs> Bye. Take care, guys. <laughs>